Okay, let's start with latitude and longitude. Really important to know these, be able to use them and know the difference between them. First up, we have this green line I have shown here is a line of longitude. You could say it kind of goes up and down when you're looking at the globe like this. All the longitude lines will uh, sort of all go through the North Pole. They all go through the South Pole as well. As opposed to uh, the line of lo uh, latitude is this red line here, and it goes like this. Uh, knowing which is which is important, and then working with the numbers and compass directions is really important. Uh, oftentimes I will tell kids like uh, latitude lines are flat. Latitude, flatitude. Uh, I once had a student teach me a method he uses where he uh, says it's the shape that your mouth makes when you say the words. And he was going, latitude, flat, longitude. He was doing this, this longitude, up and down like this. And then I would relay that kind of as a joke to my classes. And a lot of kids, like they, that's how they really remembered it. If that helps you, great. If not, do another way. I like latitude, latitude, flatitude, lat, flat. I like that. Uh, oftentimes it gets presented like this. Here's a world map or most of a world map. Uh, here in purple, we have zero longitude, longitude. That's called the prime meridian, called the prime meridian. So all of these numbers, 20 longitude, 40, 60, 80, these are all west. Okay, so that's 100 degrees west longitude. These are all east, all of these numbers here. And then here I drew in the equator in red. So all of these numbers, this is 10 degrees south, 20 degrees south, 30 degrees north, 40 degrees north, because that those are all compared to the equator. Uh, so, for instance, I have this one here. Now it's kind of zoomed in. You can't see every, you don't see all of the lines. You just see some of them. So the latitude of the red dot here would be 45 degrees south is the latitude. And the longitude would be 90 degrees west. Here is New York State, a map of New York State. This red line. Now notice they don't say north, south, east, or west on here, unlike the other map. So that you have to figure out. So this is a line of latitude in red, and it's 43 degrees. Now the question would be, is it 43 degrees north, south, east, or west? So here, there's a compass rose here. So I often tell students, well, where would zero be? The equator, where would it be? Well, it would be all the way down here. It'd be down at the floor. So if it's down at the floor, this is what compass direction from the equator and say, well, it's north of the equator, therefore 43 degrees north is the latitude of that line. That, if you do it that way, it really helps. Here's a longitude degrees line. It's 76 degrees. And what is it? North, south, east, or west? Well, you we look at this again. Where would zero be? See, they're going up this way. They're going up in that direction. So zero would be way off over here. It's way off of the screen. If zero is here, this is what direction from zero? Compass direction, it'd be west. Therefore, the longitude of this line, 76 degrees west. Okay, this is important. Know it, practice it. Sometimes, uh, they, you know, the regents exam, this is from a regents exam, they really want to make sure you understand the concept of it and can apply it in other situations, which is really good. You know, it's like, can you problem solve and think through? Though I've seen a lot of students look at this and understandably be completely confused. What am I looking at? Where would 75 degrees north be? They just have trouble figuring it out. Because we usually don't look at, we usually don't look at a map like this. So it's like looking at the globe kind of, we're well, usually looking at the globe like this. It's looking at the globe like this, okay? And hopefully the idea is you understand latitude and longitude enough that you'll kind of recognize that and be able to work through whatever problem is presented here.